What's up everyone, Takedown here, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about WWE 2K 2022 new features. Let's get right into this. So for this video, today we're going to be talking about the new features that should be added to WWE 2K22. Now at this time, not all of them are confirmed, but they would definitely improve the game. Of course, last year we didn't get the game because WWE 2K20 was trash to a lot of people. For me, everything worked, but a lot of people had a lot of errors, glitches, and a lot of problems with the games. So hopefully they fix and take that into account and make a way better game this year because they had two years to make and finally release this game. So let's just dive into this. Up first is superstars overalls will change automatically depending on how they perform in either real life or in universe mode. Now this is something that a lot of people have wanted for a while because a lot of other sports games include. Now the WWE Live would be, depending on how the superstars perform in real life in the real WWE, would affect their overall ratings in the game, which I think would be very cool. But if you play universe mode, it might be very cool if you have a superstar that's on a win streak, having their overall increase a lot more and stay permanently at that overall level. Now they have something similar in WWE 2K20 where depending on performance, they might have an extra boost where their overall might be increased by two, three, or sometimes even five but it's only temporary, it's not permanent. If they had a permanent thing that could do it automatically, I think that'd be great. Of course, WWE games are notorious for having the accelerator, which you could go and manually change all of the overalls for all of the superstars, but you have to pay for that. It's like a DLC. I think if it automatically did it based on performance in real life, or in universe mode, if you have somebody going on a lot of wins, I think that would change how people play to the game and it would absolutely be awesome. The next feature is WWE universe mode, draft and contract signings. This one here is similar to GM mode back in the day for SmackDown vs. Raw, but realistically, I don't see it happening. If they were going to add this element to universe mode or into the WWE games, they should have done it back in 2016 where they did the brand wars once again, SmackDown vs. Raw in real life, and the brands mattered. Now, the brands don't matter so much. Once again, it's all mixed up in a way. I do like how Raw and SmackDown have separate tag teams, world titles, minor titles, and women's titles, but they still are a little mixed up, but this still would be a great feature to add in universe mode if they were to take the right approach to it. Next would be to add a lot more new or returning legends to the game. One legend that was taken out, and we really don't know why, was Vader, and I really think that a return of Vader and other legends that were taken out of the game in previous games would be amazing, especially with the fact that WWE is releasing a lot of their current talents for the past two years years, there might not be a lot of talent. So to bring back some of the old legends that were in previous games, I think that would be very amazing. Or to even up that and include some legends from the Attitude Era or mid 2000s and just bring them and put them in the games as well. I also think wrestlers that return just for a cameo, whether it's an anniversary or Legends Nights or the Royal Rumble, I think that would be awesome to include them in the game as well. For example, Carlito was in last year's Royal Rumble, and we also have the Hurricane who returns sometimes in the Royal Rumble. He's also a producer backstage, along with other wrestlers that showed up for Legends Nights and different things like that, JBL and Farouk would be absolutely amazing to have returned in the game. Whether they be a tag team from the old days or JBL as the iconic JBL would be amazing, but returning some of these legends that make cameos in Legends Night and different things like that would be pretty epic. The next feature is for career mode, and that is decisions and win and losses actually matter. Now, how previous WWE games were back in SmackDown vs. Raw, you could either select a current WWE superstar that is in the game on the roster and play a career mode as them, which was a lot of fun, or you could create a new wrestler, a created wrestler, and do a career mode as them. Currently, previous WWE games over the past few years, you could only create a new wrestler and play career mode as them. If they brought back that you could go and select a WWE superstar and play a career mode of them, I think that would be a lot more fun. But on top of that, have career mode where 
wins and losses actually matter. Now in career mode, you have to win the match, sometimes in a specific way, to advance to the next scene or the next match. In career mode, you have to win. Whereas back in SmackDown vs Raw, if you won the match, great. That would boost your ratings and help you get closer to the championship. If you lost the match, you still move on to the next match. It's just, it didn't help you any way whatsoever. And the career modes back then were a lot longer than they currently are. Now, when it comes to making decisions, I remember back on SmackDown vs Raw, when you're playing as a WWE superstar, there sometimes would come a parts where you would have to pick one of four wrestlers to be your partner in a huge fight. If you picked the wrong person, they would either attack you or make you lose the match and then you'd start a rivalry with them. If you picked the right person, they would actually help you win that match and get you a step closer to the championship. So if they brought back where decisions actually matter, where based on what decision you select and who you select to be your partner and different elements like that actually make and change up how the career mode is progressed, I think would be amazing to see. The next feature is one that I would love to see brought back and that is create a finisher. They had this a few years ago and it was a lot of fun, but they ended up taking it out because of a lot of the finishers would be glitched and they didn't want to deal with that. I think if they were to reassess and make it better and whereas there would be no glitches with the custom finishers. I think that would be a lot of fun and a very new element, especially if there's a finisher you love that is not part of the game. If you could go and create it, that would be awesome to see. One feature that they had a few years ago and they ultimately took it out, but I would love to see brought back would be when face paints would wear out the longer the match goes on, which is something that would bring a new realistic effect to the games. Now, that's something I'd love to see brought back because it's something that does happen in the WWE. The face paint does not stay the same all the time. It does wear out as the match does go on, and I really think they need to bring that back, along with changing or erasing the face paint off of a WWE superstar in the game as part of the roster, would be awesome because sometimes superstars will change up their face paints or sometimes just take the face paint off, period. And that's something that I really think they need to bring into the game. Right now, if a superstar has face paint on, sometimes you can change the color of the face paints, but you can't erase the face paint totally, which is something I think they really need. Now, the last two things are ones that I honestly don't see ever happening, and that is number one, GM mode. I think, again, if they did it back in 2016, that would have been perfect, but how things are now where there's no Raw or SmackDown general manager, I think that'd be very, very hard to pull off, but something that I think would be fun for a video game, but it's not something WWE currently does, so it wouldn't really make sense. And the last thing that I doubt is going to happen, but I would love to see, would be WWE superstars that are in the game as part of the roster, having some of their older music and entrances be returned for the video game. Now, sometimes they do this with select superstars, depending on what the story mode is going to be for the game. They did Kofi Kingston, Daniel Bryan, and The Miz a couple years ago, but sometimes they don't do enough. I think if they added a bunch of old entrances and music for various superstars that are in the game, I think that would be very epic. If you wanted to do kind of a retro universe mode, I think that would be a lot of fun. Or if somebody is now part of a tag team and you want to split that tag team up and give that wrestler their old music back for their solo entrance, I think that would be a lot of fun and spot on. I just don't see that as going to be something that 2K is going to do because it's not something that is currently in the WWE. So these are the features that I hope to see in WWE 2K 2022. Comment down below what features you think are going to be as part of the game. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Please take care. Peace.